Hi, Julia. Thank you so much for joining us for our library questionnaire. And let me draw my first question out of my mug. What is one interesting fact about you that most people don't know? I've always enjoyed hiking and camping. That's the thing that we do as a family. But during the pandemic, all of our favorite hiking spots and camping spots were filled with people. And so we had to get a little creative. So my family and I have started going to Cumberland Island to camp. So it's this kind of island off the coast of Georgia. There are no hotels, no restaurants, no stores. We go rogue. We've got two little kids that we're towing along. So we have to hike to our campsite. We've got solar showers because they have only cold water. And I've really started taking to the Georgia and South Carolina islands. My husband teased with me that now I've become this island expert because I love to read about the history and the people and the culture and the ecology. So every time we go, my kids are asking me all these questions. And it's making me think that in retirement years, I definitely want to be a park ranger. That's kind of a new passion of mine. That's really and, exciting. Oh, thank you for sharing that. All right. Number two question. What's one thing you wish you could tell your younger self? I think I tell my younger self, don't worry about it. It's going to turn out okay. Just keep doing your best. Enjoy the moment a little more. I think especially now as a mom, as I see how quickly my kids are growing up, just to enjoy the moment. Because I think in so many phases of life, the way I'm wired, I'm pretty analytical. So I can really want to know the future and want to have everything planned out and always be a little anxious about what's going on in the moment. So yeah, I would say worry less and fully embrace the season you're in and the moment you're in. I think that's good advice <laughs> for all of us. All right. See, number three, if you could have a superpower, what would you choose? I'd love to be able to have the power to just heal people and encourage people when they're down. And I feel like there are so many people that I know who are in need and I want to do something. I feel like I end up usually bringing meals, which I'm not a great cook, so I don't know that that helps much. Or, you know, I try to give an encouraging word, but I think to really be able to to just touch somebody and they'll be healed of cancer or they'll be healed of Alzheimer's. I would love that and just to be able to help people on a deeper level. That's wonderful. Hopefully an easy answer. Aisle, middle, or window seat? I like the window because I like to look out and see everything. And I have pretty good bladder control, so I'm usually okay at the window. I don't know that I feel yet end up being a crisis. I've actually that might change as you get older, but right now I enjoy the window. You get all the sight, get a good view. Sounds yep. good. I might know the answer to this based on one of your previous questions, but your last question is: pick one: desert, mountain, beach, forest, or concrete jungle. You know why? I'm going to throw it for a loop. I'm going to say mountain. I love the mountain. I was born in Asheville, and every year we go up there and just as a family. So the mountains are my happy place. I do enjoy beach camping as well. The mountains are just a place where I get energy. I love to hike and just get out in nature. And just seeing those long-range mountain views with mountains beyond mountains beyond mountains, I just think it's amazing. It makes you feel really small and kind of keep the world in perspective. So I love the mountains. Wonderful. Well, now, folks, you know Julia a little bit better.